Hey guys, CTB Ram here again, and uh, in a previous video I showed how to model uh, this type of a screw driver, uh, standard screwdriver tip here without using booleans, and uh, just for completeness I wanted to demonstrate how using booleans uh, I can actually cut a couple steps out of the process we used for the previous uh, tutorial that I showed, uh, and I just want to make it clear that I don't recommend using booleans and then don't clean up the result. Uh, in many cases you have to, and in fact in most cases after you use a boolean you have to clean the geometry up. The idea of a boolean is to think about how something would be manufactured and in this case with a screwdriver uh, you'd start with a cylinder and they would literally grind away one side which is sort of basically the same thing as doing a boolean to one side of the uh, or to uh, uh, create the the beveled part of the screwdriver and so to get you to the basic shape boolean is actually uh, the fastest way to get you there you just have to think a little bit about how you're going to use the boolean so that you create geometry that's easily cleaned up and you get something that's manageable so uh, just very quickly let me demonstrate how I would do the same thing we did in the previous video but this time we would use uh, a boolean rather than the uh, than using the cut faces tool and show how that it can actually cut several steps out of the process and make your modeling quite a bit faster. So I'm going to pull this uh, version that I have here off to the side and I'm going to uh, create a polygon cylinder as we did in the other example. Give it some thickness and just like in the other example I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get rid of the, the end cap uh, subdivisions and I'm going to make it um, 14 uh, subdivision sections. So, uh, or sections uh, around the perimeter of the cylinder. So now, what I'm going to do is, uh, just like we did in the other one, I'm going to grab this face and just pull it up. And uh, just from the uh, front view, I'm just going to scale it so that we're the same diameter. Um, just like we did in the other example, so that we have something to compare our results to. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to tug it up so that it's sitting on the axis, just like our cylinder here. Okay? So, there we go. So now, uh, let's do, let's create a polygon cube, rather than do the cut faces route. All right? I'm just going to create a cube, pull it up, go over to its settings here, center it, and then I'm going to just pull it out like so. Okay. Now I'm going to go from the side view, or actually it was the front view. All right. Got to remember which uh, which one of these segments is uh, the flat part that goes across the axis rather than having an edge right on the axis. So now uh, it's real easy. We just take our cube here, and I don't even really care what my angles are and things are at. I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to uh, take these vertices and I'm going to tug them to here. All right, so they're sort of like it was in the other, other case. It's not quite... I don't want to have it go right through this vert. I don't want to have it have it go through this edge. I want, it, I want to have a, a short edge here so that I end up with a quad in this section. And then for the angle, I just I can just do this. I can take this and just play with with uh, with these verts right here, right? Till I get tug on it, till I get the angle I want, right? So let's say that if I bring it down, it brings it sharper. I'm going to actually make it really short and sharp like this, and then show how we can actually even change this geometry after the fact. So there we go. We've got our primary surface and our cutting surface, right? So all I have to do now is take this, minus this, go to Boolean difference, and there we go. In one step, we've done all of, like, several steps that we did uh, using the cut faces tool. We've done it in a single, uh, in a single step, right? So now let's do some of the things that we did in the other one. Uh, once again, this is symmetry, so we're going to get rid of uh, some stuff that we don't need. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to insert an edge loop. Uh, an edge, and it should bring up this one, right? Insert edge loop. And we're going to do uh, multiple and one, and throw an edge in here and an edge in here. 
and then I'm going to split from here to here. Okay, and then from the front view, I can now come in here, go to face mode, and I can get rid of these faces. And just so this isn't in our way anymore, I'm going to hide it. Perspective. Okay, so there we go. And now, just like in the other one, uh, we're going to want to uh, split this in half again. But this time I'm going to go from the front view. I'm going to do this a little more efficiently. Now that I've done it once, I kind of have it in my head. I'm going to take these points and pull them back like we did in the other one. Thinking thirds here. Come up here. And now what we'll do is uh, use the split tool and we can now make that a quad and we can use the other one to help us as a guide there. So there we go. And so now we've got all quads. And so now since we have all quads I should be able to come in here and do all of these uh, uh, insert edge loops a lot more efficiently. So come in here to insert edge loop and the first thing we'll want to do is throw one in. Oops. Take it out of put it to equal distance. Make sure. Oh wait, we're not quads yet. I'm sorry. I have one more split to do. We have we have to work on this face here first. So uh, sorry about that. We're very quick to fix this. We'll put a split across here and here. Right. And then um, what I can do is from the front view. Actually, Z. Let's undo that. Let's undo that. Let's go from the front view and. Let's just come in here, and like we did in the other one, we're just going to do a cut faces. Get in really close, just eyeball this, and put a cut. Holding the shift key down, put a cut right across there. Then what I can do is, uh, while I'm still here in the front view, uh, take all of those verts, which there should only be three, and you can see I've got six uh, selected. So there's quite a few. I can just do this in one step, merge verts, and that cleans those up, and now I just have two. Right, so now if I come in here and we need to split this down the middle, so let's do another insert edge loop. This time multiple loops with one. That gets us up to this point. It won't cut through this face because this is an end gun, so we'll just manually split because now we know this is right in the center. And there we have our all quad topology down the front. So there we're up to this point a lot faster than we were with uh, using the cut faces tool. So now we just have to cut in all of the sport edges, which will also be a lot faster at this point because uh, now I don't need side view. At this point I don't need this half. So I'm going to get rid of it now. Perspective. And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, come in here and insert some edge loops to act as support edges to keep these edges tight. So let's uh, insert an edge loop. We're going to put one right here. Oops, it's still on Z. It's still on multiple edges, so put it to equal distance and redo that. Throw an edge in right here. Right, and then I'm going to throw another edge in right here. Right, and I'm going to throw another edge in right here. Now we have this issue of these edges routed in a direction that I don't want them to route. So what I'll do is get rid of the the edges that went awry by using delete edge, so I don't leave floating verts, and then manually cut in the the path that I want. Oops, picked the wrong edge here. Let's go from here to here. And this is probably better to do by eye because you can sort of eyeball keeping these uh, the distances equal and then up to here. Right? And then once again, this is a lot faster than the uh, cutting in the other one because now I just have to cut an edge from here to here and just make it the same try to eyeball the same distance and then finally a split from here to here and then select this little segment right there and just delete it. So there's the geometry we want with the exception of this edge just like we had in the other one. So we're going to go vert, merge vert, snap it down to there. And there we ended up with the same topology but we 
uh, got to it, I think, a lot faster by starting out with the uh, with the bevel tool to get that initial cut. And if I just come out of there and smooth it, you can see and turn off edge. There you go. So there's the uh, there's the basic shape at this point. So now it's just a matter of doing the uh, doing the mirrors. So once again, uh, we're looking like negative z this way. So mirror minus z. Remember those vertices will sometimes collapse if they're too close together. So you have to come in here and manually change the threshold here to a smaller value so that they pop apart. And then kind of visually check to make sure you don't have any other verts that inadvertently merged come over here and now this is going to be mirror and minus X and once again select them I, I do this almost as a habit now I just always come out there and type a smaller value in and then just like the other one now that we've got these merged we don't need that center edge anymore and if we smooth it uh, there we are same result but this time we used the uh, We use the um, uh, it'll come to me. The <laughs> we use the uh, boolean operation rather than the other one. Now I also I did this on purpose. I cut this angle kind of shallow here because I wanted to show you how you could fix this after the fact. If I come in here from a front view, for instance, and let's say I wanted to have the tip narrower and I wanted to have this angle sharper, but I didn't want to have to go through and recompute everything. What I can do is come in here and grab all these vertices and then throw on a lattice deformer and take the T divisions down to uh, down to two right so we get this box and now what I can do is I can take these verts and I can scale them in to sharpen make the tip narrower right Oop. I didn't want to take the verts that's the reason I created the lattice I want to take the lattice points these two lattice points and scale them in right to make it narrower right as I want and then I can take these points right here and I can pull them up to say make the tip uh, sharper let's say I want to change that angle perspective right and that will keep things pretty much nice and clean Right now, we're getting a little oddness in here. I'm noticing, and that's because uh, these vertices right here are starting to get a little narrow, just because of the way that I modeled this one. So to fix that, if I go to the front view and I take these verts right here, now this is going to change it from circular, so I have to do a little adjustment as well. But if I pull these out so that we get a little bit more even distribution coming through here right and I probably don't those actually pull them out uh, when I did that it it pulled them out in the other direction a little bit but I don't think it's going to be enough to even notice and now if I smooth see that's perfect now so we got a nice clean clean topology so there's how you can do it with uh, using a boolean instead of using the cut faces tool uh, same result I think a little bit more efficient than uh, than using the uh, than using cut faces, but you know this is this is Maya. You use whatever you're most comfortable with, and there's always many many ways to accomplish the same task. So thanks a lot. I hope this uh, I hope this helps you out and makes you at least a little bit less afraid of uh, of using booleans and also just plants in your mind the fact that you have to use boole if you use booleans what you want to do is realize that you're going to have to clean up afterwards and uh, actually there's one last step I want to do before I go and just like the other one I'm noticing I'm getting some uh, stretching or this uh, vertex is acting strange when uh, when this thing gets uh, gets subdivided so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to insert an edge loop go to the tools and I'm going to say uh, relative this time and I'm going to throw it right here as a clamping edge right perspective All right and that 
that maintains this this edge right here properly. Now I can do it two ways. I can do relative or I'm going to just Z back. Is it going to let me? Yes, okay. Uh, and I'm going to uh, do that again. I'm going to insert an edge loop. And this time I'm going to hit equal distance. Uh, I think relative is probably better. Actually, I'm trying to think. It's already getting narrow here, so I like it uh, when I did it the first way. I'm going to go to a uh, to a front view, and I'm just going to do a uh, I'm just going to do a uh, cut faces, holding the shift key down, and I'm going to just throw it straight across like that as my clamping edge. I like that better. Okay. So yeah, you got to think about this. Think about topology as you're building this thing and uh, how to hold the edges properly if you're going to be smoothing. So that looks a little better to me. Uh, that would be your minimum geometry for the chisel tip screwdriver. So uh, this has been CTB RAM with SimplyWire.com, and I hope uh, I hope this tutorial helps you out. Once again, makes you not so afraid of uh, of using booleans. Thanks for listening, guys.